California supervolcano found with 240 cubic miles of magma underneath, this is the Long Valley Caldera that last erupted 760,000 years ago. That was a super eruption. It also erupted 50,000 years ago. And uh, we've had a, an earthquake yesterday of five magnitude. And uh, right after that, a 2.5 magnitude. And today we also had uh, in the uh, Bay Area, San Francisco, a 2.8, two kilometers east northeast of Aromas, California. And that just happened now. And uh, we've had 43 reported feeling the earthquake as far as uh, what was reported to USGS. But um, for those who don't know too much about the uh, Long Valley Caldera, it's about 600 miles southwest of Yellowstone. And it lies on the Walker Lane Fault System, which has a lot of volcanoes, high threat volcanoes in that area. And the super volcano erupted with a super eruption hundreds of thousands of years ago with the vast reservoir it has sitting under, under the surface, semi-molten magma measuring 240 cubic miles, according to a new study. This magma in the Long Valley Caldera is so large it could support an equivalent eruption of massive, which occurred 760,000 years ago, that released 140 cubic miles of material. By comparison, the 1980 Mount St. Helens eruption released 0.29 cubic miles. While Long Valley Caldera is not likely to blow anytime soon, of course, the reports written by scientists from the U.S. Geological Survey and University of California and University of Rhode Island said, we can conclude the mid-crustal reservoir is still melt rich, they said. They said, we estimate the reservoir currently contains enough melt to support another super eruption comparable in size to the caldera forming eruption of 760,000 years ago. This was published in the Geological Society of America and it stresses there is no need to start panicking, of course. The volume and the relatively high melt fraction is in no way ensuring that the magma is eruptible. The team used cut, cutting edge techniques. They used uh, Im uh, uh, thermal imaging as well to inspect the volcano in great detail to enable them to reach their conclusions. The Long Valley Caldera is one of Earth's largest supervolcanoes, measuring about 20 miles long and 11 miles wide, and uh, 3,000 3, feet deep. That's about 910 meters deep. After four strong earthquakes shook Long Valley in 1980, USGS scientists also detected evidence of renewed volcanic unrest in the area. They subsequently found the central part of the caldera was slowly rising. And uh, the fact sheet issued by USGS says that because such ground deformation and earthquakes are common precursors of volcanic eruptions, the USGS has con continued to closely monitor the unrest in the region. It's, um, a natu it's natural to uh, ask when the next volcanic eruption might occur along this area, Long Valley area. Geologic processes proceed at slow paces and even viewed when viewed on scale of human lifetimes, volcanic eruptions and earthquakes happen rarely. And they said, nevertheless, a long history of volcanic activity in Long Valley area indicates that future eruptions will occur Geologists found that after its creation in the massive eruption of 760,000 years ago, clusters of smaller volcanic eruptions occurred in the caldera at roughly 200,000 year intervals, they said. About 100,000 years ago, the most recent of the eruptions formed the Mammoth Knolls, the hills just north of Tom, the town of Mammoth Lakes. Uh, that's around, uh, just north of the uh, Long Valley Caldera. Tom's place is just south, and the young volcanic rim of Long Valley Caldera was created by a series of eruptions occurring between 220 and 50,000 years ago. The volcanoes in the Maño Inyo craters chain extend just south of Mammoth Mountain to the shores of Mono Lake in Mono County, California. They erupted frequently over the course of the last 40,000 years. And during the last 5,000 years, they said, an eruption occurred somewhere along this chain every 250 to 700 years. 
The nearby Inyo craters have lava domes. They were a result of a series of small, moderate eruptions 550 to 600 years ago, and the most recent eruptions along the volcanic chain was about 250 years ago at Paoha Island in Mono Lake. And the fact sheet says when an eruption does break out in Long Valley area, its impact will depend on the location, the size, and type of the eruption, and of course, as well as the wind direction. Also, an eruption during winter months could melt heavy snowpacks that could generate mud flows locally. Now, Professor of Planetary Geosciences at the Open University, David Rothery, Rothery said, a major eruption in the next 100 years is extremely unlikely, but there is a greater than 50% chance of major eruption in the next few hundred thousand years. So, uh, nothing to worry about. Despite 40 years of uh, diverse investigations, the presence of large volumes of melt in Long Valley Magma Reservoir remain unresolved. And uh, they show that through waveform seismic tomography, the mid-crustal zone of low shear wave velocity, according to the geologists. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.